here with Jack Yendall. Jack, um, uh, Gloucester obviously this this uh, weekend. You've had a couple of fixtures in the last couple of weeks which perhaps haven't gone to plan. Can you put your finger on perhaps what went wrong, if that's a, a, a not a bad way of putting it? Uh, the Bath game, we we were kind of we were in it, mm. uh, especially defensively for the first kind of 60 minutes. Um, we didn't get as much flow as we normally have in our attack, uh, and then kind of they really got momentum uh, from when they scored off when they stole the line out. Mm. Um, but, you know, we were there defensively certainly, um, and we just got to keep kind of keep that momentum up and do it for the full 80. Uh, as soon as we kind of took took a foot off and let them settle into their game plan. Uh, they took full advantage, so we've just got to make sure that we, we get more flow to our attack um, and we keep being, especially with Gloucester being really physical in our yeah. defence and um, putting a lot of good stop tackles in. Do you really relish that physical battle? Yeah, you got to as a forward, isn't it? That's, that's, <laughs> that's one of the key elements of being a forward, isn't it? You don't think one week, oh, actually, you know what, I could do with kind of a bit of an easy week this week, you know, I don't really want to get smushed by somebody. <laughs> you, you tend to be a bit sore on a Monday. Um, <laughs> But, you know, come the weekend again, uh, you're always right up for it, which is, uh, like I said, keep it being a forward. Um, you've got to love that physical confrontation um, because it's in every aspect of the game. So the little battles that you can have and can win make a big difference to the outcome. And, and, and in your position, you've got people like Luke Cavendicky breathing down your neck as well. And that competition for places must really add to it as well. That must keep you on your toes. Yeah, definitely. I mean, Luke's a quality player and we're constantly battling for that shirt and you know it's, it's not a case of one comes off and the performance goes down if anything it's injecting some life back into the game when one of us gets a bit fatigued so it's, it's really good to have us both you know really competing for that shirt and it's, it's definitely going to push on uh, push on the quality of what we're performing hopefully. People on the outside looking in might see sort of two people want to do the same job essentially as being quite competitive do you get on do you support each other how does it all work? Yeah definitely we were always helping each other out, whether it's kind of extra throws at the end or just giving each other little pointers, kind of from scrum point of view or just from around the field, kind of running lines. Um, and it's, it's a kind of good relationship to have with each other that you can help each other out. You don't want to be kind of not getting on and not helping each other out because it, 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 at one point you're all playing for the same team. Yeah. So, uh, you know, you need those performance levels to be right up there to uh, be doing your best, really. Uh, look back at looking back on your season. Obviously, at LV Cup wins, a time captaining the side when Dean Mon was injured. If you were a school teacher and you had to grade 2014 and give it a grade, what grade would you give it for yourself? Uh, for myself, I'd probably go with a B. We'll go solid B, solid B. <laughs> so it's up there, but there's you know there's plenty more to come and there's room for improvement. So what uh, areas? What what? You know, if I if you were the teacher talking to me and you say what would give you an A, how would you? move up to an A? I'd say just constantly performing at the top level. Um, you know, your form can kind of go up and go down. I'd like to just keep, well, as any player would, I'd like to keep your form right up there and uh, playing right at the top of my game, which is never an easy thing to do. But if I want to get that A+, plus, that's, uh, that's what's got to be done. Let's look ahead to Gloucester. Uh, as you mentioned, a big physical battle. And what a great start to 2015 it would be, though, if you could get four or five points. Yeah, definitely. I mean, a local game, just like Bath was, um, it's going to be hopefully a sellout crowd here, um, and that's anything to inspire you on enough. But especially against Gloucester, um, you know, it's going to be a noisy game. It's going to be a confrontational game, um, and hopefully, like it was up there, we'll come away with a win. If we bring our nice physical edge to the game, we should edge it.